ओके मतलब भाई गुड मॉर्निंग रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्टेड सर मां रिकॉर्डिंग हैज बीन स्टार्टेड सर स्टार्टेड ओके सर राइट uh right uh, in the previous class we discussed about some of the part like uh, the thing is here the transmission angle in a four bar mechanism the transmission angle in a four bar mechanism and also uh, you got it out regarding the slider current mechanism how can we apply into the slider current mechanism also that is also i have cleared the doubt here that is the thing here we are taking a crank and coupler and also the slider here we are taking a slider and whenever it will move like this whenever it will move like this that it is having an angle like it is perpendicular to it suppose which it is perpendicular to it that it is having a transmission angle in a slider crank mechanism always it will be like, like this only is it clear and also whatever the angle in between in between the pixel link and also the crank that it is nothing but we can say theta and in between the crank and coupler that it is having beta and in between the slider and also the coupler that means a connecting rod that is nothing but we can say about it is a transmission angle is it clear guys do you got it now guys do you got it now in this four bar mechanism guys am i audible yes sir okay in this four bar mechanism we can see the transmission angle here like uh, this is a fixer link and this is a crank is a coupler and also one more it is rocker we can say this is a rocker and here in between the fixer link and the crank you are having theta the angle is theta and in between the crank and coupler that it is having beta and also in between the coupler and rocker you are having mu that is a transmission angle that is nothing but we can call it as a transmission angle sir why you are saying that uh, that much importance is having it is having a transmission angle why because that is the output here we are giving some input here and we are getting some output by using some rocker mechanism and here the, what about the angle we are mentioning here that is nothing but we can say transmission angle that is called as transmission angle is it okay and now we have to discuss here uh, the part like uh, already we discussed about the cosine rule i told you about the cosine rule how you can apply and also the thing which it is clear see in a cosine rule we are applying for the normal triangles we are applying for a normal triangles and in the right angle triangle if you can see for a right angle triangle that is what we can apply a pythagoras theorem okay a pythagoras theorem It was very clear. Again, I am saying to you, a right angle triangle is used for. We can say that it was simply Pythagoras theorem. But in a normal triangle, I am using some cosine rule. I am using some cosine rule. This is the part we have to discuss here. Okay. And now, in this, all the things are clear. All the things is clear. Is it okay, guys? Okay, sir. Yes, now can I do the derivation? I mean the small part is there. We'll do the small part. The thing I can join this one. I can join this line. See here, like this from B to D. This is recorded as named it as F. Named it as F. Now these are two triangles. If you can observe, these are two triangles. Angle. A B D. These are the two triangles, angle A B D, and also one more triangle is there, B C D. How many triangles are there? Two triangles are there. One is triangle A B D, and also the triangle. Another more triangle. B C D. B C D. Is it clear? B C D. And now what we have to do? We have to apply some cosine rule. how to apply this cosine rule how to apply this cosine rule i already told to you how to apply this cosine rule for a normal triangle that it is looking like 
So opposite side square is equals to exactly exactly so, uh, like uh, uh, in the previous uh, we have uh, whatever the edge whatever the edge opposite edge we are taking that is equal to some uh, side square plus side square and also plus 2 into side into side into cos theta or cos whatever the angle it will be like that the formula will come here also will do like that here also will not do like that For that, uh, I have to name it first of all. First of all, what I have to do, I have to name it like uh, this is A. I didn't name anything. A. This is B. This is C, and this is D. Okay. Slider crank, the link, whatever I am giving A. This is the coupler I am giving B, and the rocker this is C, and pixel link that is D. That is D. And now you have to do right. Whatever the thing it will be, you have to do. Uh, see from the triangle ABD. What about the triangle ABD? How can you got it right? How can you got it? Triangle ABD from triangle ABD. F square is equal to. This is the opposite edge. F square is equal to A square plus D square. Yes, yes, sir. No. A square plus D square minus. Two into AD cos theta. AD cos theta. Very good. AD cos theta. This is about triangle ABD. This is ABD. And now coming to the second triangle, which it is from triangle. Can I write here? Is it visible? Is it visible? Yes. Yes. Okay, from triangle BCD, I can write F square is equal to F square is equal to from triangle BD. This is the opposite edge, right? This is the opposite edge. F square is equal to C square plus this is the side and this is the side. C square minus two BC cos mu. 2 BC cos mu. Say yes or no? Is it right? Guys, is it right? Yes, sir. This is by applying cosine rule. You can apply cosine rule by applying cosine rule. Okay. Can I resist this one? Because uh, we have to equate these two, and after that we can go further equations, right? Can I raise this one? Yes, sir. Okay. So if we can equate these two equations, after equating these two equations, how can you get it? Like a, uh, you are getting like a. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, a square plus d square. Just write down. Equating these two equations, why? Because f square is common for both. A square plus d square is equal to minus a square plus d square minus 2 ad cos theta. 2 ad cos theta is equal to is equal to. One more thing is there, like a b square plus, plus c square, square minus 2 bc. Cos mu, two BC, cos mu. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Is it okay? Yes. Now, after completing this equation, equation, uh, equating everything, we have to do some differentiation. It is a slope equation. We have to follow some slope equation. Why? Because we want to get some maximum and also minimum. It is required. Whatever the maximum angle and also the minimum angle, which is which is which it is required. Why? Because Whether uh, if it is in a zero, the crank is in zero degrees, how it will move? Whether it is a maximum or maximum, I mean maximum or minimum, the transmission angle which will be maximum or minimum. That is what we have to find it out here. For that uh, we have to do here that it is we have to get some slope equation by equating these two and also differentiating by equating and e mu by d theta. d mu by d theta 
is equal to zero. Mu bed mu theta is equal to zero. Then the maximum and minimum can be obtained. I can write it here. Maximum and minimum angles can be obtained. That's all. Maximum and minimum angles can be obtained. Now, now, while these equating these two and also by differentiating, I can say a square d square will be cancelled. A b square c square will be cancelled. Why? Because why? Because whenever the differentiation is going on, you can see it will be very clear. Minus is also cancelled. Minus is also cancelled. Two is also cancelled. Two is also cancelled. Here, right? What about the remaining? What about the remaining? The remaining you have to do, right? Like, uh, I'll write the equation here. Can I erase this one? Yes, sir. Can I erase the figure also? Why? Because the figure. Yes, sir. Now, now the thing like uh, minus the final equation I am writing minus minus two a d into minus two a d into minus sine theta in place of in place of cos theta after completing the differentiation I am writing minus sine theta okay into d mu by d theta into d mu by d theta is equal to is equal to minus minus 2 bc into minus 2 bc into we have to write here what we have to write here minus 2 bc into one more thing like cos mu in case of cos mu sign. Minus sine mu. Minus sine mu. This is the thing, right? Any more, any more is here? Any more is here? That's all. Minus minus will be cancelled and also 2, 2 will be cancelled. Just you have to write the remaining things like uh, d theta by d mu is equal to, I want to write it like d theta by d mu is equal to d theta by d mu is equal to bc bc sin mu by bc sin mu by what about the remaining bc sin mu by ad sin theta. sin theta ad sin theta this was the remaining this was the remaining and after completing this one you should write like d mu by d theta that is required d mu by d theta is equal to reverse d mu by d theta is equal to a d sin theta by b c sin mu is it okay d mu by d theta is equal to d mu by d theta is equal to we can write it like simply a d sin theta by b c sin mu b c sin mu and now the thing is what about the soap equation I am taking here? That is nothing but we are putting it in that d mu by d theta is equal to we know that zero. We know that that it is zero. It is completely depend upon the two positions. It is completely depend upon the two positions. If you can take it here, one second here. Once we will check the two positions, how it will be, and after that we can go for the case one and also case two. Okay. Yeah, so many cases are there. Uh, after completing the two positions, if theta is equal to zero degrees, if theta is equal to zero degrees, then the mu will be minimum. Mu will be minimum. Okay. 
and if theta is equal to 180 degrees if i want to say theta is equal to 180 degrees the mu will be maximum mu will be maximum so you are saying uh, how can you say mu i mean theta is equal to 0 and also mu will be the minimum and also whenever the theta is equal to 180 degrees mu will be maximum once see the diagram in the diagram itself that means i can draw the diagram here can i close the equation can i erase this one whether the part is completed yes sir yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. yes sir. Uh, now see here this is the diagram here see this is a fixed link this is having theta and this is having mu okay this is the fixed link and it is a crank which it is giving some input and which it is nothing but a rocker this is called as a rocker and this is the output right this is input we are giving and this is the output if it is in zero degrees that means if the theta is in zero degrees that means it is a plane position then simply you can say the mu will be the minimum you will be in minimum if the theta is in 180 degrees theta is in 180 degrees then you can say that is having the maximum position that's whether it is clear the mu will be in maximum position whether the condition is obeyed or not just you get it just check it the condition right now after seeing the diagram you can check it the condition whether it is right or not is it okay? That's okay. Have you got it? Can I go for the next one? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, here you are having two cases. Here you are having two cases, like uh, case one and case two. We'll see the both cases, how the cases it will be. I'll show it to you. Okay. I'll show it to you how the cases it will be. Now, in this, first of all, we can go for the case one. Case one. Can I close the right? Okay, I'm going for the first case in the case one. In the case one. That means in the case one that it is having whatever the shortest length plus longest link. Shortest link plus longest link is always less than the remaining links. That is A plus B. That is A plus B. If I am going for a, for example, for example, if I want to take a diagram like you see here. Just see the diagram here. In this diagram, in this diagram, you are having, what about the shortest link? What is the shortest link here? That is nothing but a crank. And also what is the longest link here? This is a fixed link. This is a fixed link. That it is always less than A plus B. For suppose, I am taking an example like a, I am taking an example, just take it here. I am showing it is, it will be looking like a crank, right? Why? Because it will be confusing to you. Okay. Now, I can write it like this is the shortest link and this is the longest link. This is the shortest link and this is the longest link. And also this is A. And this is B. This is link B. Is it okay, guys? Just I am yes. giving you an example. The shortest link length will be 2. The length will be 2. 
and here the longest length will be five. Yeah. Longest length will be five. And also for suppose if I am taking for a a that it is having three point five, and for b that it is four, that it is four. Now do the do the diagram. I mean whatever in the case one I am showing to you. Whatever the case one I am showing to you. These are all coming under into the class one mechanism. These are all coming under into the class one mechanism. See, sir. No? Now check it, please check it. What is the shortest length here? Shortest length you are having. The length is two. <laughs> Plus, what is the longest length you are having? Four. Five. Five. Is the fixed length like this? The fixed length. Yes. That is less than. I want to say a plus b. What is a? Three plus four. Three point five plus. That's four point four. Four. Oh, that is two plus five is seven. Seven is always less than seven point five. That means it will be come under class one mechanism. We can say class one mechanism. We can say this is a class one mechanism. And now also it will be called as. It will be called as crank rocker mechanism. What do you call? Why? Because we are giving input here. We are giving input here, and after that, in the rocker only it will be moving. That means we are getting an output here. That's why. That's why it can call it as a crank rocker mechanism. Crank rocker mechanism. This type of mechanisms are called as <coughs> crank rocker. Is it okay? Is it okay? Can I go for the second one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. This is the longest in this fixed. Now, if I am going for inverse. Means the shortest length is fixed. Then what is the condition? If I am going for a longest length is fixed. Double mechanism. Yes, exactly. Already we discussed some of the part, right? If the longest length is fixed and the shortest length is moving, that means uh, we are applying a crank on it, and the, we can call it as a crank rocker mechanism. Simply we can say. But in the second condition, I am taking like a see here. I am taking like a. see that it is also come under the case one only just i will draw the diagram here the shortest link and also now check it here this is the shortest link And the remaining we can like uh, you can say A B L A B L. We can give the example here. It means it means you are having two outputs. What is here? This is moving. <coughs> And here also it will move. Move like this. This move like this, right? So I want to write an example. See, this link has a two. The shortest link is having two, and the longest link is having five. Longest link is having five, and going for a point a that is four, and also this is three point five. Now do it simply. The shortest link and also the longest link that it is two plus five is less than. 3.5. I mean, 4 plus 3.5. This is also come under class one mechanism. This is also come under class one mechanism. And which type of mechanism it is having? How many cranks you are having? Two cranks. Yes. Two cranks. That's why we can call it as a. Double crank mechanism. Double crank mechanism. Double crank mechanism. 
double plank mechanism. And also, which link is fixed here? Short test link is fixed. Just remind this part. The short test link is fixed. This is about okay. So under two conditions are there. That this is. Is it clear, guys? Have you got it now? Can I go for the case two? Can I go for the case two? Say sir. No? Yes, sir. Case three, sir. Case two. Case two. What case three? Okay, sir. Here you are having two conditions. Sir, if the shortest length and longest length is equal to a plus b, then sir. Yes, sir. Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. Guys, one second. Whether it is audible or not? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Audible. Okay. okay. Sometimes it is showing like this. Now you can ask the question, right? Uh, somebody is asking some question. What is that? Shortest length plus longest length equals to a plus b. I think. What happens? Then what happens simply? First of all, after after concluding this case, also you can say that case, right? After concluding this case, we will we will discuss definitely. Right? See here, in the case two, in a case two, the shortest link plus the longest link, which it is greater than, which it is greater than a plus b, then how it will be? Then how it will be? That means, that means here. I can draw the diagram here like this. If you can see here, this is nothing but I can say this is three point And also, this is two point five. This is two point five, and this is two. And now you check it simply. This is also you are having like a, what about the moment you are having that it is the moment is like this, having a two oscillations. So getting a two oscillations like this. That means whatever the shortest link you are having, that it is opposite to the Longest link. I mean, what pixel link? Which one is the shortest link here, guys? Which one is the shortest link here? Two, sir. Two, sir. Shortest link is opposite to the fixed link. Then you are getting this type of mechanism. That means oscillations will be happen. Oscillations will be happen. Whenever you are saying some oscillation. In a four-bar mechanism, that it is called as a rocker mechanism. Say, sir, no, that it is called as a rocker mechanism. Then, sir, how can you call this mechanism? How can you call this mechanism now? 
This is one rocker and this is another rocker. Then rocker rocker mechanism. Rocker rocker mechanism. Mechanism. Okay, guys. Rocker rocker mechanism. You can call it as a rocker rocker mechanism. Uh, before that, you can do whether it is satisfied or not. Whether the equation is satisfied or not, just check it here. Uh, S plus L. The shortest link is uh, 2 plus uh, the longest link is 3.5 and also that it is greater than greater than A plus B, whatever A plus B is Z, that is 2.5 plus 2.5. That means you can call it as 5.5 is greater than 5. But if the condition is satisfied or not, you can see it here. And also it is come under the class 2 mechanism. I already told you what are class 1 and what are class 2 now. This is about a class 2 mechanism. Okay. And here you have to write whatever the shortest link is there that it is always opposite to the fixed link. Shortest link is opposite to the fixed link. And also one more thing, one more thing, which type of mechanism it is? Rocker, rocker mechanism. Rocker, rocker mechanism. Rocker, rocker mechanism. This is the thing, that's it. Whether it is clear now? You guys, whether it is clear now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. see to me, now S plus L is equal to A plus B, then how can you call? Whether it is a mechanism or not? Yes, sir. Which type of mechanism? If you are saying it is a mechanism, then which type of mechanism it will be? Equal. All the lengths will be equal or not? You are saying if all the links are equal, then it will be called as a mechanism. Huh? What is that? What is the Grubler equation? How can you call it? How can you say a Grubler's equation? Grubler equation is say the number of degrees of freedom, right? And also the second part like Grassoff's law. How can you call it Grassoff's law? How can you call it Grassoff's law? Some of the smallest link and uh, exactly great. some of the smallest link and the longest link is always greater is always greater, greater than of other some of other some of other two links greater than or is equal to greater than sir greater than why because if those two are equal, then if I'm saying that the shortest length and also the longest length, which it is equal to A plus B, then it will produce some mechanism or not? That is what my question. Whether it will produce mechanism or not? That's it. Guys, my question is clear to you? Yes, sir. Then you can answer now. Whether it is possible or not? No, sir. It is not at all possible. It is not at all possible. Uh, relative motion uh, in equal. No, no, that is not possible. Yeah, Why? Because that's why we are coming under into case one and also case two conditions. Okay, now case one and also I mean class one and class two mechanisms. That's why we are going for class one mechanisms and also class two mechanisms. If it is a case one, already you saw like uh, two types of mechanisms are there. One is one is crank rocker mechanism. You saw crank rocker mechanism. The second one is 
double double crank mechanism double crank mechanism and coming to the case two you are having rocker rocker mechanism few more are there i don't want to discuss all the things right because i have to say the remaining part also is it clear guys have you got it now yes or no yes sir is it okay now i can go for a problem can i go for a problem yes sir today we will discuss like uh, instantaneous center method instantaneous center method two problems will be there i will discuss all those two like in a four bar mechanism how it will be and also in a slider crank mechanism how it will be and also one more relative velocity method is there that is what i have to complete all this part i am expecting to do all this part right uh, see i'll go for the first one Just write down the data that is enough. I think so. Just I will read the whatever uh, the problem is available with you. Just I will check it here once again. In my in my seat problem is available. I will share to you. Guys, please open your notes first of all. Why? Because this is a problem. Please open your notes. Scale, pencil, protractor. Whether you are having, I think everybody is available with you. Everything is available with you. I think so. Okay. Set square. All these things. Calci. With the calci. Please take your notes. Calci. and all the instrumentation whatever it is available with you instrumentation all the instrumentation right related to the geometry whatever it is available with you please take it with you please keep it with you say sir no if it is available i can go for i can share some problem yes, to you after that we'll solve in a board right It is not one side way. You should answer. Okay. guys i am sharing my ppt to you just check it once again that was the problem just write down the problem that it is necessary guys whether it is available or not I shared my PPT to you. Just check it once. Hello. Guys, I have shared my PPT to you. Whether it is visible or not? Visible, sir. Just 
write down the problem. Just write down the problem first of all. Sir, previous problem only explain us, sir. Ah, uh, oh, Namma. Because uh, I think you are all having doubt regarding this part. For that only I am explaining all this yes, part. Sir. Not all the problems. I will say whatever it is important to you. I take all the models, but I will explain all the models to you. Okay, na? Don't worry about it. But because uh, while coming into the board, it was different. You understand all this part. If you can do one or two problems, that is enough. In a board itself, I have explained to you. Then you can do, you can solve all the problems. I think so. I think so. Of the tunnel, I am explaining all this part. Okay, na? Actually, this part is completed in PPT. This part is completed in PPT. I know, but you are aware of uh, by drawing all these things while saying in a board, and you can draw if it is available. Not if it is available, you must and should you have. Do you have to draw all everyone? Because you have to answer now, right now. Any pin-jointed four-bar mechanism, as shown in the figure. I'll show the figure also. I'll draw on the board. Okay. AB is equal to 300 mm. BC is equal to CD is equal to 360 mm. And AD is equal to 600 mm. The angle BAD is equal to 60 degrees. The crank AB rotates uniformly at 100 rpm. The crank AB rotates uniformly at 100 rpm. You get all, all instantaneous same. And also find the angular velocity of the link BC. Find the angular velocity of the link BC. This was the thing, right? I have to do all this part. Guys, is it okay? Yes, sir. Can I close the PPT now? Can I close the PPT? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think you have written the problem, right? Guys, now my board is visible to you. Just check it now. Okay. Right. Right. In this problem, I think everybody have noted this problem. I think so. Right. Uh, in this problem, first of all, what is the given data available with you? What is the given data available with you? That is needed. The thing is, here you have to do the instantaneous center method. What you have to do? This is nothing but instantaneous center method. Thing is, you have to remind. And uh, the diagram I have drawn the diagram here. I'm drawing the diagram. Just see it. One pixel link will be there. This is a four bar mechanism. This is a four bar mechanism. Like uh, like. Uh, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. According to the problem only, I have mentioned it. According to the problem only, I have named it, right? Why? Because whatever the crank it is showing, whatever the crank it is showing, uh, what is the crank? What is the distance for the crank you are having? Guys, what is the distance of the crank you are having? Please say the given data here. AB equal to 300 mm, right. sir. AD is equal to? AB, sir. AB is equal to? 300 mm. 300 mm. BC is, is the one. Uh, and BC is equal to? BC equal to CD equal to 360 mm. CD is equal to 360 mm. Yes, sir. 
some acceleration analysis or relative velocity method or else you want to do instantaneous setup method the space diagram i mean you should draw the configuration diagram that, that is very important okay na you should draw the configuration diagram how to draw the configuration diagram just construct the configuration diagram okay uh first of all what do you want to draw can i can i erase this one Okay. How can you draw the? Just say to me, guys. First of all, I need to draw the fixed diagram. I need to draw the fixed link that is AD. This is A, and this is D. Now say to me, what is the scale I have to take here? I am drawing the configuration diagram. See here, what is the scale I have to take here? First of all, guys, what is the scale I have to take here? Yes, am I able to you? Is am I audible? Yes, sir. Now, what is the scale I have to take? Assume, assume, hundred mm is equal to one centimeter. Why? Because all are in mm only. For that, I can consider hundred mm is equal to one cent. Hundred mm is equal to one centimeter. First of all, I have to draw the fixed link. Just draw the diagram. And now, 100 mm is equal to one centimeter means what is AD? 600 mm is equal to I can draw six centimeters here. Just construct six centimeters. Just construct six centimeters. Whether it is okay or not, guys? Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. After that, what you have to do? After that, what you have to do? Angle BAD is given. That is 60 degrees. Angle BAD is given. Take some protractor. Take some protractor, and by using protractor, you can mention the point and measure 60 degrees. Measure 60 degrees here. Okay, now take some protractor and put it here and measure the angle 60 degrees. You can draw like this. The angle is 60 degrees. Okay now. And now what is BC? It is given. Sorry. What is uh, AB? It is given. The crank. The length of the crank is given 300 mm. 300 mm means 3 cm. Yes. 3 centimeter. You can construct 3 centimeters here. Like this. Named it as a point B. Named it as point B. Okay, na guys. Yes, sir. Now use some circular. Now use some circular. And BC is equal to CD is equal to 360 mm. Take some scale. Use some scale. And measure 360 mm, and that means 360 mm means 3.6 centimeters. Measure 3.6 centimeters by using which one? Circular. Guys, are you doing? Yes, sir. Measure 3.6 centimeters and construct like this. From point. Now, draw an arc. Draw an arc. 
and higher also from d also you can 3.6 cm second you can measure and draw an arc like this the point will come and in this point you can mention like this this is point c this is 360 mm this is also 360 mm sorry 3.6 cm this is also 3.6 cm guys whether it is okay or not okay sir okay na whether you have constructed or not if it is completed i can go for the second step completed sir okay now now i can go for find out the number of instantaneous centers number of instantaneous centers what is the formula for it Can I erase all these things? Can I erase all these things? Yes, sir. N into n minus one by two, sir. N into n minus one by two. Very good. N into n minus one by two. Number of Now say to me number of instantaneous centers formula. What is the formula? N into n minus one by two. I can write I C right? I C simply I can write I C. Number of instantaneous centers equal to n into n minus one by two. N into n minus one by two. How many links are there here? How many links are there? Four sir. Totally four. Four into four minus one by two. Two. That is four into three by two. Four into three. That is four three zero plus twelve by two. That is six. Six instantaneous centers are there. You know that six instantaneous centers are there. Okay. That is what you have to conclude. Sir, you are saying six instantaneous centers. How can you find it out the six instantaneous centers here? How it is possible? How it is possible? First of all, you should do. You should do. The six instantaneous centers, like we have to denote it like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. You have to mention. That means here I am drawing. This is the first link. The second link. This is second link, and this is the third one, and this is the fourth. One. Okay, now this is the fourth one. Named it. First of all, named it. Now I am writing here one, two, one, three. One four, one two, one three, one four, and also after completing one, I can go for two three, two four. Second one I can go for two three, two four. Two is completed. Next I have to go for only three four. Let's whether it is okay. Let's whether it is okay. How many instantaneous centers are there? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it okay, guys? Now name the instantaneous centers. For point A, how many? What is the instantaneous center here? What is the instantaneous center here? I. One, two. Yes or no? I want to is that? Yes, yes, sir. I one three. At point B, at point B, I, I two three. One four six. Ah, two three. I two two. At a point C, I got. I three four. Three four. 
at a point d i got i got 1 4 i 1 4 this is first link right this is first link i 1 4 is it okay now how many are completed here just named it 1 2 is completed i 1 2 is completed i 1 3 is there i 1 3 is not available with us i 1 4 is there i 1 4 is available with us i 2 3 is there i 2 3 is available with us see here i 2 3 is available with us what about i 2 4 it is not available what about i 3 4 i 3 4 is available with us now how many are there what about the remaining what are the remaining links you are having guys how many are there remaining links two sir two what are those two 1 3 2 4 2 Three is there, and also two four is there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now, now you should draw some circle. You should draw some circle. First of all, why? Because why I am drawing the circle, then you can understand it very easily. Take some radius, whatever it will be. Take some radius, and in this radius, I am taking any one of this like this. I want to name it as the four links one, two, this is three, and this is four. One, two, one, two, two, three, two, three, three, four, and finally one, four. Like that, it is happening. Okay, now this is the circle method you have to do. After completing the instantaneous centers, how many it will come? After that, you have to do like this, right? Now, what should they have to do? Guys, it is very clear. Mali jab tuna na doksa chodan de. See here, guys. Take some radius, and after that, any one of the length you can take, like one, two, two, three, three, four, and one, four. Like that, you have to draw. Now, how many? Or unknown are there? One three, one three, and two four will be there. So that I have to draw some instantaneous centers. First of all, I can go for one three. I can go for one three. Just construct a imaginary line, dotted line like this. I one three. Now in this one three, while drawing this diagonal, after completing this di diagonal, I am having two. Triangles is it is happened like a two triangles. Just check it. That is one two three and also one three four. I can go for any way. Guys, whether it is okay or not. Guys, one three will be happened yes, in it two ways. One three will be happened in it two ways. Say yes or no. One three will be happened in it two ways. Two diagonals. This is happening in it two diagonals. Okay. I can go for the first one. That is one three will be happen in one two and two three. One two and two three. The second one I can go for one three or one four, one four, three four or four three. See one four, three four or four three. Okay. One four, three four. Guys, whether it is okay or not, then only I can continue. If it is okay, I will continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, how to draw this diagram? See here, from one two and two three. From one two. And two, three. This is the line, right? Guys, this is the line, right? I have to write some imaginary line like this. I have to draw the imaginary line like this. Okay. Just I want to extend this line. I want to 
and two three. Extend this line. And also I one three for I one three one four three four. This is I one four and I three four. You have to extend this line. Which one it is? You have to extend this line. Now this is nothing but this is nothing but I one three. I one three. Is it okay, guys? Guys, is it okay? Yes, sir. Is it okay? Now I can go for the second one. Second one more diagonal is there. What is the second diagonal? Two four. I am using two four. For this two four also, for this two four also, two diagonals are there. One is this one, and second one is this one. The two triangles are there. Say yes or no. For a two four, using two four, I am having one four one two, and also three four and two three. See, I'm writing here for a two four also. For a two four also, two more triangles are there. Two more triangles are there, like two four, one two. One four, one two, one four, and one more it is. One more it is. Two three three four. Two three three four. Say sir no guys whether it is okay. It is okay. You understood or not? Now I'm constructing one two one four one two one four. Where is instantaneous I one two one four? I one two is there. I one four is there. I want to extend this line like this. And also one more is there, like I two three three four. I two three three four. Just construct this line. We got one more instantaneous center. This is nothing but I. I two four. I two four. Guys, whether it is clear or not, guys, please check it. Please check it. Please consider this diagram. This is very very important, right? This is I two four. Guys, it is okay. I one two one four. I have extended this line. One two one four. And also I two three three four, I two three, and also I two I three four. I have extended this line. I have extended this line. I got I two four. One more instantaneous center. I got all the instantaneous centers here. Now I got all the instantaneous centers. Guys, it is okay. Can I continue? Yes, sir. Continues. Now, what should you have to find here? Omega B C. Omega B C is equal to. We know that. We know that. B B C is equal to. Omega B C into. <coughs> B C. Omega B C into B C. Okay, B C is equal to omega B C into B C. And now, and now I can write here omega B C is equal to V B C by B C. V B C by B C. Or else, or else, in place of I, I already know about the instantaneous center. For that, I can represent like this. See here. Omega B C is equal to V B by is equal to V C by what is the instantaneous center about I B C guys? What is the instantaneous center? What is the common thing here for a B C for a B C? What is the instantaneous center here? I one two three guys. Nice. It is okay for a B C. The common instantaneous center is I one three. For I one three, I can write it like 
I one three B. This is I one three B, and here I one three C. Guys, it is okay. Guys, it is okay. Got the formula like this. I omega B C is equal to V B by I one three B is equal to V C by I one three C. How you got this formula? Like a uh, V B C. I have divided into V B V C. V B V C. And also, I have taken like B here for a V B the velocity of B. I have taken B here in the down. And for a V C, I have taken C here. The common instantaneous center is I one three. The common instantaneous center is I one three. I have taken I one three, I one three. And now what I have to do? What I have to do? I should find it out. First of all, omega B C is equal to. We can write this formula. Yes, can I can I erase this one? Can I erase this part? Yes, sir. Please take it here. Now say the measurement to me. How many of you drawn here? How many of you drawn? What is VB, guys? What is VB? Omega B C into B C. Okay. Ma? The starting itself, I can find it out. I think so. I A B. I A B. I'm going to find out. Chesa na manam. VB find out. Chesa na leda. Yes, sir. 3.141 मेजर Up to I one three. This is the length of here. You can write it down here. I one three B is from here to here. I one three B. What is the length? Guys, can we? Can you say anyone, please? Can you say anyone, please? Five hundred, sir. Five hundred, exactly. Five hundred, and I think it will be. We can write it like uh, how many meters? 500 by 0.5 meters. Then can I write five? 0.5 sir. Ah, uh, zero point. Okay. Zero point five. Now how much it is? What about VC? Do you know about VC? Guys, do you know about VC? We don't know about VC. VC by What is I one three C here? What is the distance of I one three C? This is the distance from here to here. I one three to C. I one three to C. What is the distance? Can you measure the distance here? I one three to C. How much it will be? I one three to C. Three fifty, sir. Ma? Three fifty, ah? That means I can write zero point three. Can I write zero point three here? possible i can find it out omega bc omega bc is equal to 1.8 omega bc is equal to 3.14 by 0.5 how much it is how much it is omega bc 3.14 by 
जीरो पॉइंट आमच इट इज सर आई वन थ्री सी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सर थ्री फाइव आमा आमच इट इज ओमेगा बी सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर बाय जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इस एट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट टू एक्स सर सिक्स पॉइंट टू एट टू एट टू एट रेडियन पर सेकंड सिक्स पॉइंट टू एट रेडियन पर सेकंड बट इट इज क्लियर गाइस नाउ यू कैन गो फॉर द लास्ट वन I can compare this two. I cannot take omega b c why because this is an angular velocity. I can take these two velocities. These two velocities. That means I can compare these two like a uh, v c is equal to. I can write simply three point one four by zero point five into zero point three five. Zero point three five. Now how much it is? This is nothing but b c. Yeah. it is okay can i go for the next problem yes sir now the next problem is uh, slider crank mechanism here we can go for the slider crank mechanism we'll, uh, see just take it uh, again I'll share the PPT to you first of all. So the problem is available on my website. Uh, if it is available, I will share my PPT. Just a minute, guys. I'll share my PPT to you. Ah oh, yeah yeah, it is available. It is also available. Okay, locate all the instantaneous centers of the slider current mechanism. 
maybe your 100 mm okay 400 mm and also the triangle then the rainbow setting the velocity of the fluid the velocity of ab So, so the, uh... Sir, you sharing PPT now, sir? Now I'm sharing PPT, Emma. Just a minute, eh? Just a minute, I'm sharing my PPT to you. Sir, slider crank mechanism, assignment glitcher, what's up? Ma, what is that? Slider crank mechanism, assignment glitcher, what's the question? It's in a mission. Chapada Chapan, sir. Chapada, the Japan to me is stone. That is your wish. Chapan, sir. Chapan, sir. Not a problem to me if it is. Okay. Just I'm sharing my PPT to you once again. Check it here. Guys, one second, um, I have uh, shared my PPT to you. Whether it is available or not. Yes, sir. Just write down the problem first of all. This is not, this is not, sorry. I think this is a Okay, this is the problem you are having now. The second problem I'm saying to you. Locate all the instantaneous centers of the slider current mechanism as shown in the figure. Your figure is also available with you. And uh, the thing is, the length of the crank OB, the length of the crank OB and also the connecting rod are 100 mm and 400 mm respectively. If the crank rotates in a clockwise direction with an angular velocity of 10 radian per second, find the velocity of slider A and the angular velocity of connecting rod AB. Angular velocity of connecting rod AB. Just write the, the problem after that I can uh, give the solution to you. Okay. Guys, it is okay. Can I close the PPT? Yes, sir.
Okay, can you? It is visible. My board is visible to you. Yes, sir. I see here uh, in this problem. In this problem, it is a slider crank mechanism. It is a slider crank mechanism. Simply, it is also given. Uh, the slider is moving. Whenever the slider will move, the crank will rotate like this. It is in a clockwise direction. It is also in a clockwise direction. Okay, now this is the diagram. First of all, what is the given data available with you? First of all, write the given data. What is the given data here? Just write down the given data. Yes, it will be. What is the given data? Length of the crank, uh, 100 mm, sir. That means uh, OB. OB, yeah? OB is equal to 100 mm. Okay. AB, AB 400 mm, sir. That means connecting rod or coupler. AB is equal to how much it is? 400 mm. 400 mm. 400 mm. Okay. Any more? Uh, crank uh, angular moment mixture, sir. 10 radian per uh, second. That means uh, it is a speed or omega angular velocity? OB. Omega OB, sir. Omega angular velocity. Angular velocity is given for a crank that is equal to? 10 radian per second. 10 radian per second. 10 radian per second it is given. Next, any more? Any more? And this, sir. That's all. Uh, the remaining things you need to find. Here the angle is also given. Angle is also given. That is what you have to consider. Just a minute, guys. Just a minute. Ah, okay. The next thing, what is the next thing here? What do you have to do next? Omega OB is here. What do you yeah, have to do find first of all? Here, what do you have to find first of all? Linear velocity. Huh? Linear velocity of crank OB, sir. Linear velocity or angular velocity? I think it is an angular velocity. Linear velocity. Linear velocity, yeah? Angular velocity already is a good sir, OB. Oh no, AB is a AB ki. Manu, you find out here, Lama. What do you have to find it out? Next, what is point? What do you have to find? Determine what do you have to find the angular velocity of. Hello? That is whether it is okay. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Find out the angular velocity of AB. Angular velocity of AB. That means omega AB you need to find. That is equal to question mark. And one more thing is there. That is the velocity of slider A. Velocity also you need to find. VA is equal to question mark. These are the things you need to find. Yes, sir. These are yes, sir. the things you need to find. For this, so first of all, uh, we know that it is, uh, if we know we uh, omega OB, then we can find it out V OB also. V OB or VB. Say, sir. That means the velocity of V OB or VB. I mean the velocity of the slider. I want to find the velocity of slider. V OB or VB is equal to, what is the formula? What is the formula for this? Omega OB into length of length of OB. Omega OB into length of OB. OB. Length of OB. How much it is? Omega OB and that is 10 into OB. What is OB? What is the distance of OB? 100 mm. 100 mm. 100 mm by meters. Convert into by 1000. That means 0 0.1. Uh, that is what we got. 1 meter per second. Na? Yes, sir. 1 meter per second. Yes, sir. Guys, is it okay? 
after concluding this one you need to draw the configuration diagram definitely you have to draw the configuration diagram okay na you should draw the configuration diagram see here now i can draw the configuration diagram here can close this this is the space diagram now i have to draw some configuration diagram here in this configuration diagram you know that is scale what is the scale you have to take here What is the scale you have to take here? 100 mm equal to 1 centimeter. 100 mm is equal to 1 centimeter. This crank it will be very less. It I think 1 centimeter means it is looking too small. Okay. For that, can I increase the scale? Yes, can I take it like 2 centimeters? That means 100 mm is equal to 2 centimeter. Ah yes. 100 mm is equal to Else you can uh, increase the scale, not at two two centimeter. Also, you can increase four centimeter. Whatever it will be, zero scale. Hundred mm is equal to two centimeter. Hundred mm is equal to two centimeter. Next. Next, what you have to do? I have to draw the configuration diagram. I have to draw the configuration diagram. So this is what I have to do. For example, I should should draw. I should draw the fixed link. For example, I should draw the fixed link like this. Sir, fixed link को लेंदे अंते होला था sir. This is link one. This is a fixed link. I have taken a point, fixed link. That's it. Just the fixed link. Okay. Next, coming to the link two, that is nothing but a crank. Link two, that is nothing but a crank. Distance of the crank it is having hundred hundred mm. And also, what is this amperage? It is given. First of all, I need to draw. I mean, measure the. हंड्रेड एम एम इज You have to construct construct two centimeters like this. First of all, in the fixed link, I named it as O, and here for point B, I named it as a point B. And the remaining you can erase it like this. Two centimeters, draw two centimeters, and after that, you need you need to construct. A B that is a coupler or a connecting connecting rod. Coupler or a connecting or a connecting rod. It will be four hundred mm. Four hundred mm. How should I draw? Yes, how should I draw? Ah, uh, with a circular, sir. Yes. By using some circular, take some length of hundred mm, four hundred mm is equal to how many centimeters? Hundred mm is equal to two centimeters. Eight. Okay, na? Take take a length of eight centimeters on a circular and draw an arc. Draw an arc like this. 
draw an arc like this from the position here and you can now make an arc like this and after that draw the scale this is 8 cm this is nothing but you can mention it as a y mention it as a y mention it as y this is link 3 this is link 2 connecting rod is link 2 okay. crank is link 2 and uh, main coupler is link 3 and also one more link is there that is nothing but this is slider this is slider this is link 4 this is link 4 okay this is link 4 that's all Link three. This is link four. L four. L two. And this is L one. Is it okay, guys? This is nothing but a configuration diagram. You have to draw like this. Assume scale hundred mm is equal to two centimeter, and you have to construct it. Whether the construction is completed or not. Is it completed, guys? Can I go for the next step? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what should I have to do? What should I have to do? Guys, what should I have to do here? Number of. Uh... Instantaneous centers. Instantaneous exactly. centers. Exactly. You should need to find number of instantaneous centers. That is. N into n minus one by two. N into n minus one by two. Very good. Number of IC is equal to I can write n into n minus one by two. N into n minus one by two. Number of links are four. So four into four minus one by two. Four into four minus one by two. That it is six. That it is six. Okay, na. It is six. Next, next. How to do? How to do the next part? How to do the next part? First of all, uh, you have to look at the instantaneous centers. Look at the instantaneous centers. Okay. One, two. First of all, write down. One, two. Four links, na. One, three. One, four. One is completed. Next, I have to go for two, two, three, two, four. Next one it is two is completed. Next, I have to go for three, four. One, two, one, three, one, four, two, three, two, four, three, four. Now you can look at the instantaneous centers here. Here it will be. Here it will be the first link, fixed link you are having. I one two. I one two. Here, at a point B, at a point O, at a means fixed center, I got I one two. At a point B, I got I two three. And also here, at a point four, I got I three four. I three four. Yes sir, no. Guys, whether it is okay. Guys, okay. Guys, whether it is okay or not. Can I go for the next? Good work. So yes, sir. My computer is not working. Now, what about? First of all, I want to try. One two is completed, two three is completed, and also three four is completed. One more is there. If I need to look at I one four, how it is looking like? If I want to look at I one four. For a link four, I one four. Where should I have to look at? Where 
guess whether you are understood or not. Where I can locate I one power. Where I can locate I one four. That means increasing one four lines. Infinity, sir. Infinity, exactly. Why? Because it is moving like this. How can I put it? That means I can represent in a vertical. Vertical. It is looking like this. This is I one four at infinity. You can write infinity. The top itself. In the down also you can write i14 at infinity here also and the pixel link also you have to write i14 at infinity i14 at infinity okay na guys whether it is okay guys whether it is okay that means one four location is also completed I have to go for the second one by using circles with it. Circles. Take some radius. Take some radius. Can I erase this one? Yes. Can I erase this one? Because I uh, we have to locate some instantaneous center. Yes, sir. Can I erase? I'm waiting for you. Can I erase this one? Hello. Yes, sir. Again. Yes, sir. The next one. What I have to do? See here. Like I have to draw the circles. Like this, and I uh, can one. This is two. This is three, and this is four. One, two, two, three, three, four, and also one, four. I mentioned everything, and also uh, you should note that one, three, and two, four are not available with us. So that again, I am making a diagonal. For a one, three. For a one three, how many are available now? Two are available. Two diagonals are available. Like two triangles are available. If you can see, for a one three, I can go for one four and also three four. One four and also three four. The second one is one two and also two three. One two and also two three. That means see here, represent the, the instantaneous center. One four and three four. Here only one four is there, and also three four is also here only. You yeah, know, guys, whether it is okay. Here only one four is there, and also three four is available with us. I one two is available. I two three is available. I three four is available. Now what I have to do? The next one it is. Here only one four is available. The next one it is. I can go for I one two, I two three. I one two. This is I one two, and also I two three. I can represent it like this. This is nothing but instantaneous center I one three. I one three. This is the point I one three. Got it right? You got it right? Yes, sir. This is I one four line and also I three four line. This is I three four instantaneous center and I one four line. And also here I one two and I two three. I one two is here and I two three is here. I'm making a line. I want to expand this line like this. And whatever the intersection is happened, that is nothing but we can say that is I one three. Locate the instantaneous center here. Locate the instantaneous center here. And one more is there. This is also completed. I one three is completed. Now I can go for I two four. 
now I two four. Take the diagonal like this. For a two four also, how many will be there? Two diagonals will be there. One is I two four, for I two four. Uh, one two one four. One two one four, and also one more. Two three three four. Two three three four. We look at here. One two, one two. This is I one four line. This is I one four line. Here only it is available. And also two three, two three, and also three four. You have to make the expand this line like this. Here I got. Here I got. I two four, the instantaneous center. I two four. Whether it is okay, guys. Guys, it is okay. Here I am making the expand of this line. Already I know. I one two, one two is there, instantaneous center. And I one four, one four means this is the instantaneous center. Okay now. Infinity line. This is the infinity line. And also one more thing is there. I two three. This is I two three. And I three four is there. I want to expand this line, and intersection will be happen at one point. That is nothing but I can I got one one more instant one more instantaneous center like I two four. Guys, whether it is got it? Guys, whether it is okay or not? Guys, okay. Just five minutes. Just five minutes. Wait for me. I'll conclude the session. Just five minutes. Why? Because the problem is end up. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. You got it right. Now, what should you have to find it here? Omega AB. Omega AB is equal to. We know that. Ba by. Something is equal to V B by something. Here I have to write A, and here I have to write B. Omega A B. This is omega A B. What about the instantaneous center? Where it is related to that? That is very important. Where it is related to that? Which instantaneous center I can take here? Yes. Which instantaneous center I can take it here? Which instantaneous center I can take it here? Can I take two four or I one three? See here, omega AB is equal to my formula is omega VA by VA by something instantaneous center into A at the same time VB into instantaneous center into B instantaneous center into B instantaneous center into B. Which one I have to place? Whether it is I one three or I two four. I one three, sir. I one three, exactly. Why? Because if I can write I two four, that it is not related to this. I one three only it is related to it. Okay, now I one three. They are. Uh, that means if I can say A, I can produce a length here. Y one three to A. This is the length I can produce. If I can say about this one, about B, this is the length. Sorry, this is the length from here to here, here to here. It can produce the length. Okay na. You can measure the length from I one three to B, and also I one three to A. Now say to me. Now say to me, what is omega A B? Omega A B is equal to V A. I don't know about V A. Whether I know V A? I don't know about V A. But I know the length of I one three A. What is the length of I one three A? Can you see anyone, guys? Can you see anyone, please? Please measure the length of I one three A from here to here. How much you got? Ah, uh, point four six. Point four six. Very good. Point four six is equal to what is VB? We know already. I think we find it out. What is VB? I think it is one, right? 
I think it is one meter per second. V O B, V O B or V B. And here you can measure from I one three to B. What is the distance from here to here? Please measure the distance here also. Please measure the distance here also from I one three to B. How much you are getting? Point five six. Point five six. Zero point. Now, first of all, omega a b is equal to uh, omega b is equal to one by zero point five six. How much it is? What is the value? One by zero point five six. One point one point seven eight five. One point seven eight five. One point seven eight five. Radian per second. Radian per second. And what about v a? V a by zero point four six. I want to compare this two. Is equal to one by zero point five six. So V A is equal to zero point four six by zero point five six. How much I got? Zero point four six by zero point five six. How much it is? What is the value? That is the value here. Zero point zero point eight two one. Zero point eight two one. To one meter per second. Second. That's all. This is the problem. That's it. Whether you understood or not. Guys, whether it is okay. You understood the problem. You understood the problem. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, it's twelve thirty-three, ah. Huh? Okay, right. Whatever it will be. Okay, maximum class I have covered. I think so. Can I stop recording? Yes, I will stop recording. It will take more time.